martial arts for you know prove yourself or for my friends and then a couple friends start entering on kung fu you know back in the days bruce lee was the big deal and then after a while after the ufc one and two we all rent the tapes together and we decide oh we need to see that so I, that's how i enter on the brazilian jiu-jitsu My first instructor was High and Gracie, yeah. So back in São Paulo, I was living with my dad, and his academy was very, it was close by my dad's house. So I went over there, tried the class, and like me and a couple more, three friends, three more friends, and then we signed up, and then we started training, and then you know I stop, come back, I move for a different city, a different. São Paulo is very big, so a different neighborhood. And then I started training for Leo, and then he's the one that introduced me to the tournaments. And you know, I did when I had like 13, 14, a white belt tournament, a Paulist State Championship, like maybe 17 years, 18 years ago. I come here to fight the Pan Americans and the world, but I, I moved definitely in, in the end of 2008. That's when I started living here, applied to my visa, and started working here with Chris. And, you know, I love the American lifestyle. And that's it, since 2008, I started living here. Pushing him, I push him to my leg. I never studied English before. I was not a study guy. I did my college. But I was never was into to you know sit sit my butt on the chair and study study. So I have a hard time with my English until today. You know I try ask help of my friends, but I think that was my big problem when I come in here was. I had a hard time too, you know, explaining the class and everything else. Everything else was easy. <laughs> Back in the days, like I'm saying, not when I was kid, but when I had like my 15. 16 years old, when I come back to train Jiu-Jitsu, I, I stopped maybe for one year, two years. You know, I was, not that I want to do MMA, but for me, Jiu-Jitsu was for self-defense. So I remember I was a little bit knucklehead, like when my teacher showed spider guard, in my head, like, oh, why I gonna use that? I never gonna use that. So I start to always focus and position, and I think the, I don't need to use the gi, you know, so half guard was the first thing that I, you know, because my game, especially in my game when I don't use too much de lapel, doesn't make a different gi or no gi, you know, but I think it was because of that, I was very knucklehead, if you like, someone want to show me a lapel guard or a, a, a lasso, leg lasso, I was like, oh, you know, I'm never going to work in the street, how are going to train that? So I like train more positions than I know gonna work gi or no gi, you know? That's how I think I start to train more half guard, single legs, half guard, single legs, go to the back. That was my goal. I always like attack the back, you know? So when Leo started teaching me, he saw I have, I have this kind of game to come into this kind of single leg and come into the back or take down from the bottom. And then he helped me to you know, hey Lucas, why you don't turn the knee here? Why you don't do the underhook away and show me? You know, after a while, I, I did my, my own positions, but he's the one that, you know, when he saw my game, and I like coming the single leg from the bottle, he's the one that helped me with my game. Now I, you know, I did a couple of amateur MMA, but I'm not into training, I don't like 
training MMA too much, and now I, I do like no gi. You know, I always like no gi, but now I try to learn uh, more spider guard and you know lapel guard, bedding bolo, where everybody, and especially because you know I have a school now, and I think it's important. I learn these games. No, especially and every kids want to learn this game, so I need to understand that and, and, and be able, capable to do it, but I can show my students. So the last five, six years I've been training. You know, when I come to U.S., I start to train different techniques because I start teaching more. Back in Brazil, I was just training, training, training hard. I was never like spend too much time of my trade go over positions and positions. I'm doing like old school, you know, doing one, two position, the position that Leo show, and roll, you know. But then when I come into the US, I need to teach, I need to study more Jiu-Jitsu. I think that makes me grow a lot my game, you know. And besides that, so I start learning wrestling, American wrestling, that helped me in my head quite a lot. I think he, the guy that I fight most all in all my career was Kalazanza. We fought science purple belts, you know. I think he beat more than I beat him, but in the beginning I was beating him more, then I moved here, start teaching, and he started beating me. Now I think he, last two years we didn't fight, but he's the one that, you know, I, I don't know, I fight against Shandy, Braulio, Romulo, Rodolfo, I fight all these guys, but Calazan is the guy that I, we, we have, I think, almost 10 acts, you know. So that's why I remember him. <laughs> Since we are kids, three weeks before the tournament, I try to shot my, 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 my best game, you know. That's show because a lot of good guys coming for the camp, and, you know, it's hard to train a new position with guys like Juan, Jackson, or Shish, or Bella. So, I think in the two weeks, we were the, the, before the tournament, I start sharp a lot. Like natural, I want to win the train, you know? Because you charge yourself, because you're going to compete, so you want to make sure you you, you you shape. So I think three, four weeks before the tournament, you start to charge yourself a little bit more. You want to win on the train. I know it's wrong to think like that, but I think it's something natural, you know? like. After the World Championship, you feel a pella, bochecha, coming here and, and tapping me out 10 times, I don't want to care. But three weeks before the tournament, you, you don't want to happen, you know. Even then, it's good for you, but naturally you in the championship mood. So, of course, you're going to start doing what you're doing best. First, you didn't have a lot of discipline and patience, because, you know, Jiu-Jitsu, it's, it's not say sprint, you know, it's like a marathon. So you're gonna have a lot of time to do it and it's hard to learn, you know, a different game. And I think it, the most important, you try to find one game for you. You know, that, that's, I think, why I have success in a lot of tournaments. Of course, I lose a lot, I won a lot, but I think what makes me confidence and is that I'm capable to bring the guys on my game. You know, I think I can, I think Marcelo Garcia is one guy that's doing that very well. You don't see him doing like spider guards or too many different techniques, but he's able to bring every match for his game. And that's what I try to do it too. So basically I try to go to the back and try half guard. So I think it's important you train everything, but if you're able to build in your game, you're gonna do okay. Even so, some guys have more technique, no more jiu-jitsu than you, but if you have a strong game and able to stick with the game, you can beat the, these guys, you know? Even though they are better, they have more jiu-jitsu positions than you, if you're able to, you know, put yourself on his game, put yourself in your game, sorry. I think that's, that is a big step, you know? Even even though it's important we train all techniques, like beating Bolo from Mendes, Lapel Guard from Keenan, smashing pass for Rodolfo, take down for, I don't know, Buchecha, foot locks from Buchecha, Proud Estima, Triangle from Proud Estima. It's very important you know all this, but 
you need find one game for you. You have confidence in this game. And that's gonna help. I, that's what I think. I wanna compete with Pan Ams. I wanna compete on Open Class, Norman and Guam. I think it's ten thousand dollars cash prize, and then the World Championship. And here, yeah, you know, save some money to rebuilding the back side of the academy. There's some uh, bathrooms there, and you know, invest more money on the academy. And, uh, I have a good students and want to invest my time and make it their champions too. So that's my goal for this year, you know, keep the training, invest in the academy and my students and keep it the whole team strong, my own team and also the checkmate team, the team that I represent, keep it represent checkmates and, you know, help Leo and all another guys that need my help to train or whatever. So that's what, that's my goal. I just want to say thank you for who want to come in and train with me, you know, I appreciate that. Right now in South California we have a lot of world champions here, so I think you, every time then you have someone that want to train with you, special guys that, you know, they come in because of me, because they want to compete and they like my game, so I appreciate that, so that's it. And to my my friends and my master Leo, you know, Chesh, Lapela, João, Assis, thank you for always, you know, be there for me when I need training or even in another circumstance of the life.